Okay, hello everyone. Michael Joseph Murphy, the Jacksonville Piano Man here. I'm gonna give you guys a first step lesson, uh, an introduction to piano. This is the way I usually will teach um, kids that are around three to five years old. Uh, adults are welcome to go ahead and review this as well. But for other music teachers out there, um, this is kind of the, the route that I take with taking a, a young one who really doesn't understand much even about reading and writing or the directions and a way to kind of draw them in. I definitely, when I talk to younger children, and you've heard it said before, but I like to get down on my knees and get down below them rather than be up above them. Uh, so that way they feel much more engaged and it's not as intimidating. So when you do talk to them, make sure you get down low instead of stand up and look down on them. All right, whenever you go on up to the piano, what you're looking for is the pattern. The pattern is two black notes, three black notes. That's it. So music is really only this big. It's the seven white notes, which are the seven letters, and the five semitones, the black notes. That's as big as music is right here. All we do then is we move it up higher, and we move it down lower. So music is only this big. When you want music to go up, we go to the right. When you want music to go down, we go to the left. So make sure you do understand the difference between right and left, okay? The first thing we're looking for then are the trains. There's two trains, okay? When you sit at the piano, you look for the middle two black notes that are in the dead middle, line your belly button up with it. And then you wanna go to the left of the two black notes. That's right here. This is called middle C, okay? So any place that's the white note that's left of the two black notes is a C. And you can go and identify and look for them. Look for any C that you can find on the piano. Then to the left of the three black notes, we have F. And you want to go ahead and find any of the Fs on the piano. Then we want to go ahead and identify the three letters that are on the C train. So the C train here is in charge of C, D, and E. And you can go and then look for possibly even just Ds anywhere you can on the piano. E's. The F train has four cars. So F, G, A, and B. Now this is the where area that a lot of times kids and even adults get confused is because we have G and then A. And often, especially whenever we, you know, students and piano players look down, they start to think, oh, it's A then G because that's the way the alphabet goes. Do not get confused with that. Make sure that right here where the alphabet flips over, it is always G, A, G, A, G, A. So now we have our two trains, our C train and our F train. The next biggest thing to do a lot of times because kids, you know, are so young and, uh, and are still learning, you know, their letters, but also we're trying to get them to, to move their fingers. So simply put your right hand so that your thumb is on middle C and line up all other fingers on your notes. That's five notes for five fingers. And then... Make sure you do review also that your thumb, your pointer, your middle finger, your ring finger, and your pinky are finger numbers one, two, three, four, five. When you put your thumb on middle C, we also now have note numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? So you want to get really used to being in the C position where the five fingers line up with the five note numbers. The next thing is to make sure that your hand is flat, flat enough that you could support a glass of water on it. You wanna relax, breathe. This is huge, relax. A lot of times our hands will be tense, they'll be holding their fingers or maybe even pulling down. Relax, shake it off, hold your hand up, make sure your hand is flat and just gently press down into the notes. And when the note goes down, let it come back up. So we're just gonna do one, two, three, four, five. Let the notes then come right back up. Okay. A lot of times younger kids maybe struggle with activating all five fingers, which even adults tend to, because as human beings, we pretty much use our fingers to do this and our thumbs to do this. So we're very used to doing that. But when it comes to engaging individual fingers, our brain's not quite used to it yet. So we got to start to make that connection. And the way to do that is what I like to call the note number game. So all we do is just go and put your right hand in C position and engage the notes and come up with your own patterns. I'll go and give you a few right now, but eventually come up with your own patterns. It actually helps with improvisation, making up your own stuff. 
Whatever the pattern is that you play, I recommend doing four to 10 times and then work on playing them soft, loud, and then fast. So if I say pattern one, two, three, I'm gonna go soft. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I can play it loud. And I can play it fast then. Okay? So all these different ways allow us to improve our feeling, okay, of playing the piano. Rather than just up in our head, we're actually feeling the notes. So level one is to play this with your eyes open. Level two is to play with your eyes closed. Come up with any number pattern and play it. So do number patterns such as one, two, three, three, two, one, one, two, four, four, two, one, Pretty much whatever you do one way, try to also do it then backwards, okay? Try doing patterns such as one, three, five, and five, three, one. Try patterns such as like five, four, two, and two, four, five. Then try doing four note patterns, like one, two, three, five. How about five, four, two, one? Okay? Come up with any kind of pattern that you want. A lot of times, break them up from middle to top to bottom, like three, five, two, one. So instead of everything being linear, going always down or always going up, try to split them up from middle to out or out to middle. Try like five, one, four, two. These are great little patterns just do over and over. You can then up it to five notes or five numbers or six numbers, as many combinations as you want, and just what you're working on doing is playing the pattern, but getting it to where the muscle memory kicks in, the muscle memory. So that way you're not having to sit there and think about it anymore. You just feel it. I recommend to my students watching a like Mickey Mouse episode or something like that, that takes two or four minutes to watch while you sit there and just do, and just watch the whole time, watch a movie, get that muscle memory in there. Okay. And then the final thing that I'll usually do with younger kids with this is let them go and play like two songs. I'll write up the number pattern for them. For instance, Hot Cross Buns. I'll also maybe make a number pattern for Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. All these patterns, what we're trying to do is just get that right hand used to be able to play with inside of a six note range, okay? Um, you then also, of course, can do this with your left hand um, and just apply the same method. Hope this helps.